Hello students, welcome back to maths class. So, we will solve one uh, 7 marks problem. So, from direction cosines and direction ratios we are having only 7 marks question, right. So, no need to practice any other problems, ok. From blueprint we know that we will have one 7 marks question from this direction ratios and direction cosines. So, now come to the question. So, read the question carefully and uh, take the equations correctly, right. You are in first year that is why I am saying again and again. So, instead of plus minus or instead of 2, suppose we have taken any other value, we do not get uh, the correct answer, ok. So, be careful while copying the question from question paper to answer sheet, ok. So, make it an habit whenever you take the question, two times you check it, right. So, come on find the angle between the lines whose direction cosines are given by two equations are given to you. So, first you write down what are the given equations to you. So, given equations are. So, first one what is the first equation 3 L plus M plus 5 N is equal to 0 you consider this as first one and uh, second one is 6 m n minus 2 n l plus 5 l m is equal to 0. This is your second equation. So, from 1 you take one simple value from 1 right. What is that m is equal to we can take m is not having any multiple values right. So, we can take this as 3 l minus 5 n substitute m right in second equation. So, wherever m is there, there we have to substitute. Here it is there. So, 6 n into m wherever m is there, there minus 3 l minus 5 n. Next to 5, this is minus 2 n l, no need to take m value, but here again m is there. So, 5 l into minus 3 l minus 5 n be careful while taking the values. So, come on 6 3 za, that is minus minus 18 n l 6 5 za, 13 n into n n square minus 2 n l minus 3 5 za, 15 l square minus 5 5 za, 25 l n is equal to 0. So, come on writing in the order minus 15 L square. Next we will write the N L terms minus 18 minus 2 minus 20 minus 25 minus 45 L N ok minus 30 N square is equal to 0. We can take minus 15 common and sending that said 0 by anything is 0. So, you will value will be L square 15 3 za is not it 3 L n and 15 2 za 2 n square is equal to 0. Try to get the factors. So, 3 L n can be written as 2 L n plus L n is not it 1 into 2 is the value right. So, we can take L square plus 2 L n plus L n plus 2 n square is equal to 0. I think you know how to take the factors. First we have to multiply 1 into 2, 2. So, we have to select 2 numbers right whose product should be 2 and whose sum should be 3. So, we can take that as 2, 1. So, 2 into 1, 2. If you add you will get 3 like that we have to take the factors. So, from this you take your L outside L plus 2 n. From this you take n outside L plus 2 n is equal to 0. So, come on L plus 2 n is common in both the equations we can write L plus n is equal to 0. Again see like uh, in a previous class problem we got two cases L plus 2 n is equal to 0 and L plus n is equal to 0. We will take this as case 1 and we will get one set of direction ratios and we will take this as case 2 and we will get another set of direction ratios. Come on you take your case 1 
right what is your case 1 it is l plus 2n is equal to 0 try to write l m n form so how we will write this as 1 into l right there is no m term so we will write 0 into m plus 2n is equal to 0 you consider this as this is your third equation right so this will be your fourth equation okay so now substitute l is equal to minus 2n in third equation what is your third equation m is equal to isn't it so m is equal to minus 3 l what is l minus 2n okay minus 5n so 3 2 is a 6 minus of minus plus 6n minus 5n is equal to n so we can write that equation as m minus n is equal to 0 same thing try to write this in form of lmn right so how we will write so there is no l term so 0 into l plus 1 into m minus 1 into n is equal to 0 you consider this as your fifth equation solving 4 and 5 we will get one set of direction ratios how we will solve first you take m coefficient n coefficient l coefficient again m coefficient similarly take the second m coefficient 1 n coefficient and l coefficient again m coefficient so in the middle l m n we have to take come on l divided by 0 into this 0 this is 1 into 2 2 right next m by this into this minus this into this 0 minus of minus plus next n by 1 into 1 1 minus 0 so l by minus 2 is equal to m by 1 is equal to n by 1 these downward values are called direction ratios therefore direction ratios of first line right first line they are denoted by a1 b1 c1 okay is equal to minus 2 1 1 okay now we go to the case 2 so what is your case 2 second value we got it what is that uh, second value here we got l plus 2n is equal to 0 first case l plus n is equal to 0 is the second case again try to write lmn form so 1 into l plus 0 into m plus 1 into n is equal to 0 you consider this as sixth equation okay so substitute L is equal to minus n in third equation. What is your third equation? M is equal to, right? M is equal to in L place minus n. So this is 3 minus 3 L. L means minus n minus 5 n. So minus of minus plus 3 n minus 5 n. Okay? So, this is your value, okay. So, is equal to we got minus 2n. So, what is that equation? m plus 2n is equal to 0. Same thing, try to write in LMN form 0 into L plus 1 into m plus 2 into n is equal to 0. You consider this as your seventh equation okay so now by solving 6 and 7 by solving 6 and 7 we'll get uh, another set of direction ratios how we will solve m coefficient right n coefficient l coefficient and m coefficient next m coefficient n coefficient l coefficient again m coefficient so m 
L in the middle we have to write L M N no. So, L M N we have to take come on L divided by 0 minus 1 is equal to M divided by 0 minus 2 is equal to N divided by 1 minus 0 is equal to L by minus 1 M by minus 2 N by 1. So, direction ratios of second line therefore, direction ratios of second line is we will denote the direction ratios of second line as A2 B2 C2 is equal to what are those minus 1 minus 2 1. So, once we got the direction ratios of first line direction ratios of second line we will find out the angle between the two lines. So, come on angle between between the two lines between the lines is equal to what is the formula? It is cos theta is equal to modulus of a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 by root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square into root of a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square. Come on modulus of first set is a1 b1 c1. So, a1 a2 a1 is minus 2 okay? and a2 is minus 1 plus b1 is 1 and b2 is minus 2 right plus c1 is 1 and c2 is 1 ok by root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square minus 2 square plus 1 square plus 1 square next into root of come on minus 1 square plus minus 2 square plus 1 square ok. So, is equal to this is minus 2 into minus 1 2, 1 into minus 2 minus 2 plus 1 ok by root of 2 square 4 plus 1 plus 1. Similarly, minus 1 whole square 1 plus minus 2 whole square 4 plus 1 here plus 2 minus 2 cancels. So, 1 will be there. So, 1 by root 6 into root 6, 1 by root 6 whole square 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 root cancel it is 1 by 6. So, theta is equal to we will send cos inverse of 1 by 6. So, you can ask madam in previous class we got cos theta is equal to 1 by 2. So, there is direct formula is there cos 60 is 1 by 2 that is why we have taken the angle as 60 degrees. But uh, here cos theta is equal to 1 by 6 we got it there is no value in the table of cos 1 by 6 that is why angle is theta is equal to send cos that side cos inverse of 1 by 6. So, angle means theta not cos theta right. So, angle find the angle between two lines means we have to find the angle between two line theta value between the two lines it will be theta ok. Generally angle is represented by theta not cos theta, but formula is in terms of cos theta that is why first you find out cos theta value then you send cos the other side. If we send cos the other side it becomes cos inverse ok. So, that is the angle between the two lines ok most repeated 7 mass question. So, once again observe the question they have given the two equations to us right. So, with that we have to find the angle between the lines. So, to get angle between the lines we need a direction ratios of the two lines why formula is in terms of direction ratios ok. So, to get direction ratios we have to solve the given two equations. So, this is first equation this is second equation 
select the simple equation with that you find out any one value right. So, m is equal to minus 3 l minus 5 m, m is not having any multiples that is why like that you have to select one value ok. So, you consider that as third equation ok. Then substitute this m value in a second equation then you got one quadratic equation like this. With this you can take minus 15 common and send the other side 0 by anything is 0 right. So, after sending that you will have L square plus 3 L n plus 2 n square is equal to 0 ok. So, now try to get the factors. How we will get the factors? First we will multiply L square coefficient and last term coefficient that is 2. Now, we have to select 2 numbers whose product should be 2 and whose sum should be 3. Like that we have to select 2 numbers. Those 2 numbers are 2 and 1 ok. So, if you take 2 and 1 right. So, 2 into 1 2, 2 plus 1 3. So, that is why instead of 3 ln we have taken 2 ln plus ln. Next from these 2 we can take L common and from these 2 we can take N common. Again if we observe L plus 2 N is common in this equation. So, you take L plus 2 N then L plus N is equal to 0. Okay. So, L plus 2 n is equal to 0, L plus n is equal to 0, we got 2 equations that is why we will take this equation as a case 1 and this equation as a case 2. With the case 1 we will get one set of direction ratios and with the case 2 we will get another set of direction ratios. How we got it? First case L plus 2 n is equal to 0. Try to write that equation in the form of L m n. There is no m term that is why we will write 1 into L plus 0 into m right. No term is there, but we are we want to take that is why we can write that as 0 into m plus 2 n is equal to 0 ok. You consider that as fourth equation. Now, from this one you can take L is equal to minus 2 n in third equation. Where is your third equation? This is your third equation. Then we got the value as m minus n is equal to 0, the equation as m minus n is equal to 0. So, try to write L m n form same thing 0 into L, no L term is there. So, we will add 0 into L plus 1 into m minus 1 into n is equal to 0. Solving by cross multiplication method we can solve it right. So, how we can take a cross multiplication method? First m coefficient, n coefficient, l coefficient again m coefficient from the fourth equation. From the fifth also m coefficient, n coefficient, l coefficient again m coefficient. Next l divided by is equal to m divided by is equal to n divided by this into this minus this into this. Already I explained this while dealing the straight lines right cross multiplication method this into this minus this into this same thing this into this minus this into this like that we have to take you will get one set of direction ratio. Similarly, you take the second equation as a second case L plus n is equal to 0 try to write same L m n form. So, no m term is there. So, we can write that as 0 into m ok. So, and from this equation you substitute L is equal to minus n in third you will get your another equation m plus 2 n is equal to 0. Try to write this in L m n form L term is not there. So, 0 into L solving by cross multiplication you will get a second set then you take your angle ok cos theta. At the end theta is equal to send cos the other side ok. So, practice this problem perfectly that is all for today have a nice day.